Good evening. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Cody Holyoke. And I'm Ann McCloy. A local BMX track cleaning up tonight after being vandalized. Yeah, it happened in Bennington, and the vandals used spray paint to trash parts of the field. They ruined signs and furniture there. CBS 6's Jennifer Lukey spoke with kids and parents at the track today who are vowing to clean up and move on. The graffiti on these banners, which were on the fences that wrap around the track, is so inappropriate we can't show you much of it. The people who ride here, the parents, the organizers are disgusted that someone would do this at their track. How have you been riding bikes? Five years now. Yeah, what do you like about it? Um, just it's a fun sport. Um, it's really competitive and it's just real fun. To kids like Chase, this track is home. I didn't expect to come up to this. But what his mom found when she brought him to ride was not fun. Nearly all of the banners put up just a month ago are covered in offensive graffiti. But I'm not sure if they were trying to open this. Picnic tables and lookouts were also sprayed. I was sad because the, this, this track isn't just for kids who race. This track is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any kid that wants to come up and ride. The cops are investigating while parents are helping to clean up. Nice job, right here. We're doing the best we can. It's all nonprofit here and it's all volunteers and everything you see here was, you know, donated. The kids, they're keeping upbeat, but have a message for those who were holding the paint cans. Not good. People doing graffiti are just not good at all. Should clean up. They should clean up. They can be replaced, but we're a nonprofit organization. We don't have money. We, we work off our races and we work off our sponsors. So therefore, there's not a big bankroll to where we can just go out and pull it out of our pockets and, and rebuild it. Local businesses are stepping up to try and help the track replace some of these signs. In the meantime, Bennington police are still looking for whomever is responsible. In Bennington, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. If you'd like to help make a donation to help the BMX park, you can. Yeah, just send a check to the town of Bennington, care of Catamount BMX.